So this is our second CT scan exercise with the touch designer and also related to the notion of time using touch designer and as usual I prepare the environment first so this is the project folder and again I'm using the video device in rather the other movie file in and I also flip it horizontally to have the mirror effect and the next step is we are going to create the silly scan effect that one particular scan line from your video will kind of moving across the screen horizontally and at different points of time that is when, when the scan line move actually this sampling the image at different point of time so in this case what we are going to do first is to um, sample that vertical scan line from the video device image so the command we're going to use will be a cropped and it's again up to you which vertical line that you are going to crop from the original video so usually I uh, will crop the from the center that is from the center of your video so that means the left and right will be some will be again exactly in the center in the middle of the screen that will be like 0.5 and then the right will also be 0.5 so after the sampling you can see the result will be one particular uh, line that with the width of one pixel and the second step is we try to animate this particular scan line across the screen and at different point of time is kind of sampling the latest uh, image from the video so what I'm going to use I connect this to a command we call the corner pin and the use of corner pin actually you can copy this particular single lines of pixel image and then paste it into different location of the destination at the destination we would like to have the standard resolution of the 1280 by 720 so in this case I change the resolution of this one to our custom resolution first and then the expect ratio is using the final resolution that will be something like this and for this one is actually similar to what we have done in the very beginning of the class that we use and cropped in order to produce this kind of color bar exercise and but for this one we're not going to create the identical color bar exercise for for the whole spectrum of your image what we would like to do is exerting this single line of pixel and then pin it into different location and that location will be moving animating from the left to the right margins so in order to illustrate i try to use for example this width of this image is 1280 and then we try to move from the zero and then one two three four five six seven eight up to 1279 so in this case i would prefer to use the unit in pixel rather then 0 to 1 so the next step is we try to animate those number with the left and right such that they are moving from left to right continuously 
and the techniques we're going to use actually we have done it before is the chop we're going to use a bit to keep the counting from 0 to 1 and in order to have the purposely scan effect running continuously usually we need to slow down the speed a lot so I change the pivot to 60 in order to make it pretty very very, very slow and as we are using the number of pixels so we're going to convert the range of this one from 0 to 1 up to the the width of the display so we are going to change the range to here 1 to x0 so that is the thing that we would like to do and, and you also notice that we will turn decimal number so you can also disable the decimal decimal number by having the integer taking the floor command that means we truncate the decimal number so that number will convert to what we call I add a note here that is the lab margin so I also label it as the left margin and what about the right margin so right margin usually is one plus the the left margin so in this case we add another mass from here and just plus one over here so now that one will be right so i also label it right to indicate so now we have these two moving number so we are ready to copy it to the pin location so we need to turn on the viewer active for each one of them before we drag them there so this one will go to the left and we have actually two left here so we have another one and then that one will go to the right so this is the right and then this is also the right okay so you now see something like this so that is a scan line moving from left to right across your screen and as a practice you can also put a now over here to create a buffer for this one and how can we create those continuous scan line and then stitch them together so the answer is pretty straightforward we need to have a feedback and we use the feedback in order to have an accumulation of those scan line across the screen and you can create this feedback effect by yourself or you can simply use the predefined one in the palette browser in the image filter there's one called feedback as well so that's the banana so we can just drag it around here and then connect your now to your feedback component and then the feedback component will finally go to your output window so if you take a look of this one you see some sort of feedback effect but there's some kind of like the motion blur in this case because the opacity for that one is less than one so in order to achieve a better result so we can change a few parameter it's actually one parameter for the feedback that is the opacity so we change it to one completely opaque in a sense that when you change this one actually you can see from your screen that you create this beautifully generated silicon effect from your video camera that is from your webcam in front of you okay to finish it up i also repeat those steps that we have done quite a lot of time to make it full screen without the border and then going back to the 
project one window and turn on the perform mode so that will be the final slit scan result so that had and a lot of artists and designer have been using this type of technique to create the artwork and both photography or other uh, design work for for uh, city cover or poster as well so this is a very funny and pretty straightforward way to create this form of a distorted image in front of your camera okay 